welcome to our APS classes and this is our biology class for class plus one and the name of the chapter is a structural organization in animals and this is chapter number seven and today we will continue our chapter with part number five and in part number five we will continue with our topic that is the frog and in frog we will discuss the general anatomy as well as the morphology of the frog and the various types of the system such as digestive system, circulatory system, excretory system, respiratory system, nervous system and the reproductive system. So all of these systems are to be discussed in this part number 5. So let us start with the frog. Frogs are amphibious vertebrates. Your frogs are in the amphibious vertebrates hai, and they can live both on the land as well as fresh water. Ye land mein bhi hai, as well as fresh water. Mein bhi. They belong to the class amphibia. Ye class amphibia ko belong karte hai, and the phylum is the chordata. The most common Indian species is the Rana tigrina. Sabse important jo Indian species hai, that is the Rana tigrina. They are cold blooded or Poicoliotherms. Ye jo hai cold blooded hai as well as, well as poicoliotherms hai. What do we mean by poicoliotherms? They are the organisms whose body temperature varies with the environment. So poicoliotherms jo hai, wo ek aise organisms hai, jinka ki body temperature jo hota, wo vary karta hai with the environment. Therefore, they do not have a constant body temperature. Jab inka body temperature jo hota, wo vary karta hai environment ke saath, on the behalf of that reason, we can say that uh, they do not have any constant body temperature. Is what you in Kapoor, constant body temperature. Nahi hota hai. Next is camouflage, the ability to change their body color to blend with the surrounding. So, camouflage means they have the ability to change their body color. In the past, they have the capability to change body color ko change kar hai according to the surrounding. surrounding ke behalf of ye apne body color ko jo hai wo change kar dete hain and hide from the their enemies aur is wajah se ye apne aap ko apne enemies se kya karte hain hide karte hain next is mimicry the protective coloration of the organisms that blends with the environment and camouflage it from the enemy to so mimicry jo hai ye ek protective coloration hai organisms ki jo ki blend karti hai with the environment and camouflage it from the Enemy. Next is estimation, the dormant state of the organisms during the summer. The estimation is a dormant state of organisms ki during the summer. This helps the organisms to survive the high heat of the summer. This estimation ke concept is that organisms ko hai, ko help karta hai to survive the high heat of summer summer mein jitni jyada high heat hogi us high heat ko kya karte hain organisms jo hote hain wo usme ye apne aap ko survive kar lete hain it is also called as summer sleep is wajah se inko summer sleep bhi kaha jata hai the metabolic and physiological activities of the organisms at this stage are at their minimum jo metabolic as well as physiological activities hain Organisms ki stage par wo kya hoti hai minimum hoti hai. That means all these stages either metabolic or the physiological activities of the organisms at this stage are minimum. Next is hibernation, the dormant state of the organism during the winter. Estimation jo that is the dormant stage at the time of summer. Whereas hibernation jo this is the dormant state of the organisms during the winter ye jo hai dormant stage hai organisms ki at the time of the winter this helps the organisms to survive the extreme cold of winter ab ye kis cheez mein help karta hai hibernation jo hai ye organisms ko help karta hai to survive the extreme cold conditions of the winter winter mein jitni jyada cold conditions hote hain uske body ye kya kar jate hain survive kar jate hain on the behalf of that reason, they are also called as winter sleep. Is which is it? Winter sleep bhi kaha jata hai. The metabolic and physiological activities of the organisms at this stage are at minimum. Same, just as in case of the estivation, same in the hibernation, both the metabolic as well as physiological activities of the organisms at this stage are at minimum. Next is morphology. What is the morphology of the frog? The skin is smooth, is slippery due to the presence of mucus. Aapne dekha hoga ki jo frog hai, uski skin jo hoti hai, wo almost kaisi hoti hai, smooth, is slippery hoti hai due to the presence of the mucus. Kyunki usme jo presence hoti hai, wo kis cheez ki hoti hai, mucus ki. 
दिस हेल्प्स टू मेंटेन द स्किन एट मॉइस्ट कंडीशन ऑलवेज और ये जो होता है उसको हेल्प करता है टू मेंटेन द मॉइस्ट स्किन को जो वो मॉइस्ट रखता है कंडीशन ऑलवेज किसी भी मॉइस्ट कंडीशन में वो हमेशा उसको क्या करता है ये मेंटेन करता है स्किन को The color of the dorsal side of uh, side of the body is generally a light green. जो dorsal side पर जो frog का color है, that is generally a light green with dark irregular spots. और इसमें बड़े-बड़े dark irregular spots होते हैं. Whereas the ventral side is a pale yellow. जबकि उसके नीचे की जो side होती है, ventral side जो होती है, that is pale yellow in color. The frog does not drink water. Frog कभी भी water drink नहीं करता है. Instead, it absorbs it directly through the skin. जबकि वो water जो है वो directly कहाँ से absorb करता है through its skin because its skin is always moist. क्योंकि अगर उसकी skin जो होती है वो moist होती है उस वजह से वो directly जो है वो water कहाँ से absorb करता है अपनी skin से. Body of the frog is divisible into head and trunk. तो mainly जो body of the frog is divided into two parts and that two parts are the head and the trunk. Neck and tail are absent. In case of the frogs, neck and tail are totally absent. A pair of nostrils is present above the mouth. जो mouth के ऊपर pair of nostrils होंगे that are present in case of the frog. Next, eyes are bulged and covered with the irritating membrane. Eyes जो थी उसकी bulged होती हैं and these eyes are covered with the help of the irritating membrane. What do you mean by the dictating membrane? It is a widely short translucent membrane that forms an inner eyelid in words. So, our dictating membrane is a white or translucent membrane that we form the inner eyelid in case of the words. In words, in case of inner eyelid, we perform the reptiles and some mammals. So, this inner eyelid in case of perform the dictating membrane which in case of the words in case of reptiles as well as in case of mammals. It can be drawn across the eye to protect it from the dust. So, when the eyes are across, the eyes are drawn out of the dictating membrane. In this case, the eyes are protected from the dust and keep it moist. In the dust and keep it moist. In frogs, this membrane protects the eyes while in winter. Especially in frogs, the case of dictating membrane, which is the eyes to protect during the winter. विंटर के केस में वो क्या करती है आईज को प्रोटेक्ट करती है टाइफेनम मेम्ब्रेनस स्ट्रक्चर ऑन आइडर साइड ऑफ द आई ये जो टाइफेनम होता है ये एक मेम्ब्रेनस स्ट्रक्चर है और ये आइडर साइड ऑफ द आई के प्रेजेंट होता है रिप्रेजेंटिंग द एयर इट रिसीव्स साउंड सिग्नल्स सो स्पेशली द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ द टाइफेनम दैट इज टू रिसीव द साउंड सिग्नल्स विदाउट टाइफेनम the frog cannot be received the sound signals with the help of this time venom it always receives the sound signals next is four limbs and hind limbs they help in walking abhi four limbs or hind limbs jo hai especially they help in the case of walking swimming leaping as well as burrowing next is hind limbs they are larger and muscular than four limbs they kafi bade hote hain as well as muscular hote hain as compared to the four limbs and the four limbs they end in five digits. So, you can end up in the five digits. Next is the four limbs. They are smaller and less muscular than the hind limbs. They are smaller and less muscular as compared to the hind limbs. They end in the four digits. And you can end up in four digits. Feet have webbed digits. Such important function to a frog that is to feet said they always have webbed digits. डिजेट्स वेब डिजेट्स होते हैं और ये वेब डिजेट्स होते हैं डेट हेल्प्स इन द स्विमिंग और विदाउट दिस वेब डिजेट्स फ्रॉग कैन नॉट बी स्विम बोस के बगैर स्विम नहीं कर सकता डेट मींस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वेब डिजेट्स फ्रॉग हेल्प्स इन द स्विमिंग फ्रॉग्स आर डायोशियस फ्रॉग्स जो थे वो डायोशियस होते हैं मेल फ्रॉग्स आर कैटराइज्ड बाय द प्रेजेंस ऑफ साउंड अब अगर हम मेल फ्रॉग्स को कैटराइज्ड करें या डिफरेंशिएट करें तो दे कैन बी डिफरेंशिएट विद द हेल्प ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द साउंड प्रोड्यूसिंग वोकल सेट्स इसमें साउंड प्रोड्यूसिंग वोकल सेट्स होते हैं एंड अ कॉपलेट्री पैड of the first digit of the four limbs और ऐसा एक कॉपलेट्री पैड होता है फॉर द फर्स्ट डिजिट ऑफ द फोर लिम्स so this is the morphology of the frog. So this is the external features or the external morphology of the Indian frog that is the Rana tigrina. These are the eyes and just above the eyes these are the external nails 
दिस इज द माउथ एंड दिस इज द टाइफेनम अभी ऊपर हमने डिस्कस किया कि द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ द टाइफेनम इज टू रिसीव द साउंड सिग्नल विदाउट दिस टाइफेनम फ्रॉक कैन नॉट रिसीव द साउंड सिग्नल दिस इज द अपर आर्म दिस इज द फोर आर्म एंड दिस दीज आर द फिंगर्स एंड जस्ट बिलो द फिंगर्स दिस इज द हैंड and these are the web digits that means frog have web digits and with the help of these web digits they uh, take place in the process of swimming this is the toe this is the foot and this is the ankle and the uh, just behind the ankle this is the shin and this is the thigh so this is the external morphology of the indian frog that is the rena tigrina next is the anatomy of the frog and in anatomy we will discuss about the various systems that belongs to the frog so first system is the digestive system what do you mean by the digestive system it consists of an alimentary canal and the digestive glands sabse badi baat jo hai and the most important feature of the digestive system is that it mainly consists of the alimentary canal as well as digestive gland that means alimentary canal or digestive gland so milkar jo hai wo kya banta hai digestive system alimentary canal is short as frogs are carnivores jo alimentary canal hai frogs ki that is short because they are carnivores and the length of the intestine is reduced or jo intestine ki length hai that is totally reduced mouth opens into the buccal cavity automatically mouth jo hai mouth kis mein open karta hai that opens into the buccal cavity and that buccal cavity leads to the oesophagus and this oesophagus uh, buccal cavity leads to the oesophagus through the pharynx oesophagus is a short tube oesophagus jo hai that is the short tube it joins the stomach or oesophagus jo hai wo directly join karta hai stomach ke sath the stomach continues into the intestine or jo stomach hai wo kahan continue karta hai in the intestine the intestine opens into the rectum or jo intestine hai wo kahan open karega that opens into the rectum and finally opens into the outside through the cloaca or last thing wo finally kis mein open karta hai they open outside through the cloaca what you mean by cloaca a common chamber at the end of the digestive tract ye ek common chamber hota hai at the end of the digestive tract it is used for the release of both excretory and general products ab is cloaca ka jo kaam hota hai wo kya hota hai ki it release both the dono tarah ka jo waste us we release karta hai both the excretory as well as general products in the vertebrates except most mammals jitne bhi hamare vertebrates hain sab mein ye jo release karta hai wo release karta hai excretory as well as general products exceptions in case of the mammals and certain in vertebrates next is pancreas it is a digestive gland that produces pancreatic juice and the main important function of the pancreas that it is a, a digestive gland that produces the pancreatic juices and which contains the digestive enzymes only pancreatic juices jo hote hain they contain the digestive enzymes next is the bilobed tongue it helps to capture the food especially in case of the frogs they have the bilobed tongue and this bilobed tongue helps in capturing of the food particles stomach it secretes uh, gastric juice and hydrochloric acid especially ye jo stomach hota hai wo secrete karta hai gastric juice ko and especially important type of the acid that is the hydrochloric acid this helps in the digestion of food aur yahi hamare jo uh, gastric juices hain as well as, well as jo hamara hydrochloric acid hai that helps in the digestion of the food to hamara jo food jo hota hai frog ka jo digest hota hai that digest with the help of this digestive juices or gastric juices as well as hydrochloric acid next is kind partially digested food that is formed in the stomach partially digested food hota hai jo ki kahan store hota hai that is formed in the stomach jo ki kahan par formed or stored hota hai that is formed or stored in the stomach kind is passed from the stomach into the duodenum a kind to have a stomach se hota hua wo kahan pass karta hai pass into the duodenum next is duodenum it is the first part of the intestine duodenum to have that is the first part of the intestine and it receives bile from the gall bladder or especially jo hamara uh, duodenum hai frog ka wo kya karta hai wo receive karta hai bile ko from the gall bladder and pancreatic juice from the pancreas is or pancreatic juice kahan se receive karta hai from the pancreas 
पेंक्रियास थ्रू अ कॉमन वाइल्ड और ये पेंक्रियाटिक जूसेस को एज वेल एज जो वाइल्ड को वहां से ले रहा है गॉल ब्लैडर से और जो पेंक्रियाटिक जूसेस ले रहा है वो पेंक्रिया से वो कहां से लेता है थ्रू अ कॉमन वाइल्ड डक वाइल्ड इमल्सिफाइज फैट्स एंड पेंक्रियाटिक जूस डाइजेस्ट प्रोटीन्स एंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स अभी वाइल्ड जो है वो इमल्सिफाई करता है फैट्स को एंड पेंक्रियाटिक जूसेस को that digest proteins and carbohydrates final digestion occurs in the intestine especially in case of the frog jo jo frogs ki jo final digestion hai that takes place in the intestine digested food is absorbed by the numerous villi and microvilli ab digested food jo hoga wo absorb hoga and that is absorbed by the numerous villi as well as microvilli and these are finger like projections microvilli these are numerous finger like projections extending from the inner wall of the intestine to so, microvilli jo hai these are numerous finger like micro projections hote hain jo ki extend karte hain inner wall of the intestine they increase the surface area of absorption aur ye jo microvilli hote hain especially ye kya karte hain ye increase karte hain surface area of the absorption with the help of these microvilli the surface area of the absorption will be increased अनडाइजेस्टेड सॉलिड वेस्ट मूव्स इनटू द रेक्टम अब जो अनसॉलिड डाइजेस्टेड वेस्ट जो है या अनसॉलिड अनडाइजेस्टेड सॉलिड वेस्ट जो है वो कहां पे मूव करेगा दैट मूव्स इनटू द रेक्टम एंड पासेस थ्रू द कोलेटा अब जो अनडाइजेस्टेड सॉलिड वेस्ट जो होगा वो रेक्टम में पास करेगा और रेक्टम से होता हुआ वो कहां पास करेगा थ्रू द कोलेटा next is respiration in water after the digestive system next is the respiration in water how the respiration in water takes place in case of the frogs in water the show cutaneous respiration especially water ke case mein they show cutaneous respiration in this the skin acts aquatic respiratory organ in this case mein जो रेस्पिरेशन इन वाटर हो रही है दैट मीन्स जो रेस्पिरेशन वाटर होगी दैट इज अचुनेस रेस्पिरेशन और उस रेस्पिरेशन में जो स्किन होगी दैट एक्ट एज एक्वाटिक रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन इन द वॉटर इज एक्सचेंज जो डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन होगी वॉटर में दैट इज टू बी एक्सचेंज थ्रू द स्किन बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिफ्यूजन नेक्स्ट इज रेस्पिरेशन ऑन लैंड तो वॉटर में जो रेस्पिरेशन हुई दैट इज क्यूचनेस रेस्पायरेशन और उसमें जो स्किन है दैट एक्स एज अक्वेटिक रेस्पायरेटरी ऑर्गन और इसे जो डिसॉल्व ऑक्सीजन होगी इन द वाटर दैट इज एक्सचेंज थ्रू द स्किन बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिफ्यूजन एंड इन केस ऑफ द रेस्पायरेशन ऑन लैंड दे शो पलमरी रेस्पायरेशन तो जो लैंड के केस में जो रेस्पायरेशन होगी दैट इज द पलमरी रेस्पिरेशन बकल कैविटी स्किन एंड लंग्स एक्ट एज अ रेस्पायरेटरी ऑर्गन यहां पर बकल कैविटी स्किन एज वेल एज लंग्स all of them they act as the respiratory organs the lungs are a pair of elongated pink colored sac like structures present in the upper part of the trunk region that is the thorax to jo lungs hain ye a pair of elongated hain pink colored sac like structures hain jo ki present karte hain on the upper part of the trunk region that is the thorax air enters into the buccal cavity sabse pehle air jo hogi वो रेस्पिरेशन इन केस ऑफ लैंड या रेस्पिरेशन इन द लैंड में क्या होगी जो एयर होगी वो एंटर करेगी थ्रू द बकल कैविटी एंड आफ्टर दैट पासिस थ्रू द नॉस्ट्रल और जैसे ही वो स्किन जो होगी सॉरी एयर जो होगी वो एंटर करेगी नॉस्ट्रल में और बकल कैविटी में सबसे पहले एयर जो है वो एंटर होगी बकल कैविटी में आफ्टर द बकल कैविटी इट एंटर्स थ्रू द नॉस्ट्रल एंड इट देन एंटर्स इन द लंग्स फिर नॉस्ट्रल से होती हुई वो कहा पास करेगी इन द lungs during estivation and hibernation we are already discussed uh, about that what do you mean by hibernation and what do you mean by estivation so during the period of estivation as well as hibernation the respiration occur through the skin chahe estivation ki condition ho ya hibernation ki condition both uh, in the conditions the respiration occurs through the skin us case mein jo respiration hogi wo occur karegi through the process of we are through the skin so this is the diagrammatically representation of the internal organs of the frog including the digestive system so uppermost part is the oesophagus oesophagus uh, directly attached with the stomach and in between the oesophagus and the stomach this is the liver and stomach opens into the intestine and after the intestine it opens into the rectum and the 
last in part is the cloacal aperture where is the solid waste material is passes uh, through the rectum and after that it uh, passes through the cloacal aperture this is the cloaca and this is the urinary bladder this is the ureter and these are a pair of the kidneys these are the fat bodies that are yellow in color these are the pairs of the lungs and this is the gall bladder and the uppermost part is the heart so this is the diagrammatically representation of the various parts of the internal organs of the frog including the digestive system next is the circulatory system it is well developed and shows closed type circulatory system ye kafi well developed hota hai aur show karta hai closed type of the circulatory system they also have a lymphatic system in mein jo hai wo lymphatic system hota hai the blood vascular system involves a blood vascular system ka involve karega that means uh, in the blood vascular system mainly involves the heart blood vessels and the blood so these three parts heart blood vessels and blood includes the blood vascular system the lymphatic system consists of lymph lymph channels and lymph node ab jo lymphatic system hai wo consists karta hai lymph lymph channels ko as well as lymph nodes ko heart is a muscular structure situated in the upper part of the body cavity so heart jo hai it is a muscular structure and it is situated in the upper part of the body cavity body cavity ke upper part mein jo hai ye heart jo hai situated karta hai and it has three chambers especially heart jo hai it has three chambers consisting of two atria and one ventricle is a two atria hote hain and one ventricle the heart is covered by a membrane ab heart ke bahar jo hai wo ek membrane covered hoti hai that membrane is called as the pericardium to heart ke bahar jo ek surrounding hoti hai membrane ki that membrane is called as the pericardium a triangular structure called sinus venosus ab ek is a triangular structure hota hai that is the sinus venosus joins the right atrium with the help of this sinus venosus the heart joins with the right atrium major veins called vena cava jo major veins hain they are known as the vena cava supply blood to the heart without these uh, vena cava blood is not supplied properly to the heart in case of the frog the ventricles opens into the conus atriosus jo uh, jo ventricles hain open karte hain kisme conus atriosus mein it is a sac like structure jo ki present karta hai ventral side of the heart ab ye jo hamara ventricle uh, hai open karta hai conus atriosus mein and after that it is a sac like structure aur ye present karta hai on the ventral side of the heart aur heart ke ventral side par ye present hota hai the blood from the heart is carried to all parts of the body ab yahi se jo blood hai wo kahan se carried hota hai blood from the heart jo heart se blood carried out hoga after that it is supplied to the various parts of the body by the atries or atries ki help se jo blood hai wo heart se hota hai body ke pure parts mein circulate karta hai that is known as the atrial system next is veins collect blood from the different parts of the body to the heart a veins jo hai unka main function kya what is the main function of the vein these veins collect the blood from the different parts of the body to the heart and forms the venous system hepatic portal system special uh, venous uh, connection between the liver and the intestine in case of the hepatic portal system there is a special venous connection that is between the liver and the intestine next venous portal system specialized venous connection present between the kidney and the lower parts of the body but the body ke lower parts as well as kidney ke beech mein jo hoga wo special connection hoga next is blood blood consists of plasma and cells तो जो ब्लड है वो स्पेशली किस चीज को कंसिस्ट करता है प्लाज्मा एज वेल एज सेल्स द ब्लड सेल्स इंक्लूड आरबीसी दैट इज द रेड ब्लड सेल्स और इरेथ्रोसाइट्स डब्ल्यूबीसी दैट इज द व्हाइट ब्लड सेल्स और द ल्यूकोसाइट्स एंड द प्लेटलेट्स आरबीसीज आर न्यूक्लिएटेड एंड कंटेन द रेड कलर्ड पिगमेंट हीमोग्लोबिन जो आरबीसीज होते हैं वो स्पेशली कैसे होते हैं न्यूक्लिएटेड होते हैं and they contain the red colored pigment and that red colored pigment is known as the hemoglobin and due to this uh, pigment that is a hemoglobin on the behalf of that reason the blood is red in color the lymph is different from the blood lymph jo hai wo totally different hai blood se it lacks rbcs and few proteins two different hai because it lacks rbcs as well as few proteins the blood transports nutrients jo main function of blood ka wo kya karta hai nutrients ko support karta hai 
ट्रांसपोर्ट करता है गैसेस को ट्रांसपोर्ट करता है एज वेल एज वाटर को ट्रांसपोर्ट करता है टू द रिस्पेक्टिव साइड ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ सर्कुलेशन द सर्कुलेशन ऑफ ब्लड इज कॉज ड्यू टू द पॉम्पिंग एक्शन अब जो ब्लड का सर्कुलेशन जो है द सर्कुलेशन ऑफ द ब्लड इज कॉज ड्यू टू द पंपिंग एक्शन ऑफ द मस्कुलर हार्ट अब ब्लड जो है वो सर्कुलेट कर रहा है वेरियस बॉडी पार्ट में अब कैसे सर्कुलेट कर रहा है ड्यू टू द पंपिंग एक्शन अब पंपिंग एक्शन किसका हो रहा है ऑफ द मस्कुलर हार्ट नेक्स्ट इज द एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम वॉट डू मीन बाय एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम इट इज द ऑर्गन सिस्टम रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द एलिमिनेशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट अब ये जो हमारा एक्सप्रेटरी सिस्टम है ये एक ऐसा सिस्टम है दैट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द एलिमिनेशन ऑफ द नाइट्रोजनस वेस्टेज अब इस एक्सप्रेटरी सिस्टम की हेल्प से ही जो नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट होता है वो एलिमिनेट होता है फ्रॉम द बॉडी इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए पेयर ऑफ किडनीज अब इस एक्सप्रेटरी सिस्टम में क्या क्या इंक्लूड है पेयर ऑफ किडनीज यूट्रेस क्लोएका एज वेल एज यूरिनरी ब्लैडर What do you mean by kidney? They are red bean-like structures. ये red color के होते हैं, bean-like structures होते हैं. Located in the posterior part of the body. अब कहाँ locate करते हैं? Posterior part of the body on either side of the vertebral column. The structural and functional unit of kidney is the nephron. जैसे कि हम कहते हैं कि cell is the structural and functional unit of life. Just same as in case of the kidney. Uh, That is the structural and functional unit of kidney is the nephron. Each kidney contains numerous such nephrons. हर एक किडनी जो है वो कंटेन करती है numerous nephrons को that are called as the urinary ferrous tubules. Ureterus, there are tubular structures that arise from the kidney. अब ये जो हमारे ureterus है ये tubular structure है और ये कहाँ से arise करता है? Arise from the kidney. They are यूरोजेंट्रल डक्ट एंड ओपन इन टू द कोलोका ये यूरोजेंट्रल डक्ट है एंड दिस यूरोजेंट्रल डक्ट ओपन इन टू द कोलोका इन फीमेल्स ओविडक्ट एंड दूट्रेस ओपन सेपरेटली इन टू कोलोका इन केस ऑफ द फीमेल्स फीमेल्स के केस में जो ओविडक्ट है एज वेल एज जो यूट्रेस है इट ओपन सेपरेटली इन टू द कोलोका कोलोका में सेपरेटली ओपन करते हैं यूरिनरी ब्लैड इट इज थिन वॉल्ड एंड प्रेजेंट वेंट्रल टू द रेक्टम ये थिन वॉल्ड है और ये कहा प्रेजेंट होता है प्रेजेंट वेंट्रल टू द रेक्टम द रेक्टम ऑल्सो ओपन इन टू द कोलोका अब रेक्टम जो है इट ऑल्सो ओपन इन टू द कोलोका नेक्स्ट इज यूरिकोटेलिक सो एनिमल्स दैट एक्सप्लीट नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यूरिक यूरिया सो यूरिटेलिक यूरियोटेलिक जो है ये वो एनिमल्स है दैट रिसीव और दैट एक्सप्लीट नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यूरिया जो कि नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट को किस फॉर्म में एक्सप्रीट करते हैं इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यूरिया फ्रॉग इज यूरियोटेलिक फ्रॉग जो है यूरोटेलिक है एनिमल है तो फ्रॉग इज नोन एज ए यूरोटेलिक एनिमल बिकॉज इट एक्सप्रीट द नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द यूरिया ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ दैट रीजन वी कैन से दैट फ्रॉग इज यूरियोटेलिक एनिमल नेक्स्ट इज द कंट्रोल एंड कॉर्डिनेशन How control and coordination takes place in case of the frog? It is highly evolved in frogs. Control and coordination to system have yeah, that is highly evolved in case of the frog. It includes both neural system and endocrine glands. अब ये control and coordination जो तब control करता है both neural system as well as endocrine glands. Endocrine glands they secrete uh, the secretory tissue which release various chemicals. जो हमारा इस केस में एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड के केस में जो हमारे सिक्रेटरी टिश्यूज हैं जो कि एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड जो सिक्रेट करते हैं सिक्रेटरी टिश्यूज को वो रिलीज करते हैं वेरियस केमिकल्स को एंड दीज वेरियस केमिकल्स आर कॉल्ड एज हार्मोन्स दैट ब्रिंग्स अबाउट द केमिकल कोऑर्डिनेशन इन एनिमल्स एंड दीज हार्मोन्स ब्रिंग्स द केमिकल कोऑर्डिनेशन इन केस ऑफ द एनिमल्स द इंपॉर्टेंट एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड इन फ्रॉग आर पिटरी सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट जो एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड है स्पेशली केस ऑफ द फ्रॉग आर पिटरी थॉराइड पैराथॉराइड थाइमस पीनियर बॉडी पेनक्रियाटिक आईलेट्स एड्रीन एंड ग्लैंड गुनेस नेक्स्ट इज नर्वस सिस्टम इट इज ऑर्गेनाइज इंटू सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम अब जो नर्वस सिस्टम है ये स्पेशली ऑर्गेनाइज करता है इंटू द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम पेरिफ्रल नर्वस सिस्टम एंड ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम सो द नर्वस सिस्टम ऑफ द फ्रॉग इज कैटेगराइज into three parts that is the central nervous system peripheral nervous system and autonomic nervous system 10 pairs of the cranial nerves arise from the brain aur jo brain se 
pair of nerves, cranial nerves to arise hoti hai, that are 10 pairs of the cranial nerves. Brain is enclosed in a bony structure called as crania. Brain to have enclosed hota hai ek bony structure mein, that bony structure is known as the cranium or the brain box. The brain is divided into four brain, mid brain and hip brain. A brain further jo hai, that is divided into three parts, that is the four brain, mid brain and hind brain. Four brain it includes olfactory lobes. Brain jo uh, four brain in case of the frogs it consists of the olfactory lobes, paired cerebral hemispheres and unpaired dinocephalon. Mid brain it is characterized by a pair of optic lobes. Ab ye jo mid brain hai ye specially characterized hai by a pair of the optic lobes. Hind brain it is made up of cerebellum and medulla oblongata. Ab ye jo hind brain hai ye specially do parts ko milkar bana hua. That is the cerebellum and the medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata leaves through the foramen magnum. Ab ye jo medulla oblongata hai ye kahan se live karta hai through the foramen magnum and continues into the spinal cord. The spinal cord is enclosed into the vertebral column. A spinal cord jothi hai ki kaha enclosed jothi hai. They are specially enclosed in case of the vertebral column. Next are the sense organs. There are various types of the sense organs that are present in case of the frogs. First is the organ of the touch. And organ of the touch is the sensory papillae. Organs of taste. That is the taste words. Organs of the smell. That is the nasal epithelium. Organs of the vision that are eyes, organs of the hearing that are diaphragm, eyes and internal ears are well organized structures. Is not your eyes hai, as well as internal ears, both are well organized structures. Hai. Remaining are cellular aggregation around the nerve ending. Jo remaining bach jate hai, they are cellular aggregation around the nerve ending or jo bach jate hai, they are sensory papillae taste words and the nasal epithelium. Eyes, a pair of structures present in the orbital skull. Ab eyes jo hai, ye pair of structures hai, that are present in the orbit in skull. They are simple eyes with only one unit. Ye simple eyes hai, with only one unit. Ears, external ears are absent. Is hai, just uh, only internal ears present hai, external ears are absent. Typhenum can be seen externally. Agar bahar ki taraf external dekha jai, so that is the typhenum. Typhenum can be seen externally. It is the organ for hearing as well as balance or equilibrium. So this is our typhenum hai in case of the frogs. Mein, wo kya hai? That organ is used for the hearing as well as balance or the equilibrium. Next is the reproduction. The most important system of the frog that is the reproduction. They have well well organized male and female reproductive system. So this is well well organized male as well as female reproductive system which is present. Hota hai. Male reproductive system. It includes a pair of yellowish or white testes. This pair of yellow or white testes is present. Hoti hai. They adhere to the upper part of the kidney by a double fold of the peritoneum. This upper part of the kidney ko adhere karta hai by a double fold of the peritoneum that is called as the mesorecum and next is the peritoneum it is the serious membrane lining the cavity of the abdomen and covering the abdominal organs so this is a serous membrane hai, that is lining the cavity of the abdomen and covering the abdominal organs next is the mesorecum it is the fold of the peritoneum that attaches the testes to the upper part of the kidney ये भी एक फोल्ड है पेरिटोनियम का जो कि अटैच करता है टेस्टिस को और उन टेस्टिस को अटैच करता है अपर पार्ट ऑफ द किडनी वासा फ्रेंशिया दे आर 10 टू 12 इन नंबर जो वासा फ्रेंशिया का जो नंबर है दैट इज 10 टू 12 इन नंबर अराइज फ्रॉम द टेस्टिस और कहां से अराइज होते हैं फ्रॉम द टेस्टिस दे एंटर द किडनी ऑन द साइड एंड ओपन्स इनटू द बिडर्स कैनाल अब ये कहां पर एंटर करते हैं दे एंटर इनटू द किडनी and on the side and after that they open into the Bidder's canal. Bidder's canal is present inside the kidney of frog. Um, where is the uh, location of the Bidder's canal in case of the frog? That means Bidder's canal is present inside the kidney of the frog. Frog ke kidney ke inside which present that is the Bidder's canal. 
इट रिसीव स्पर्म्स और जो मेन फंक्शन बिडर्स कैनाल का दैट इज दे रिसीव द स्पर्म्स फ्रॉम द टेस्टिस वाया अ नंबर ऑफ वासा फ्रेंशिया इट कम्युनिकेट्स विद द यूरेनो जेनिटल डक्ट और ये कम्युनिकेट करता है यूरेनो जेनिटल डक्ट के साथ एंड ओपन्स इनटू द क्लोएका नेक्स्ट इज क्लोएका स्मॉल मीडियन चैम्बर एंड दैट इज यूज्ड टू पास दिस फीकल मैटर एक स्मॉल मीडियन चैम्बर होता है that is used for the purpose of the fecal matter fecal matter ko pass karne ke liye urine and sperms to the exterior next is the female reproductive system it consists of a pair of ovaries situated in near the kidney ye bhi consists karta hai pair of ovaries ko that are specially situated near the kidneys there is no functional connection between the ovaries and the kidneys aur jo uh, ovaries hai as well as kidneys hai उनके बीच में कोई भी फंक्शनल कनेक्शन नहीं होता है नेक्स्ट इज ओविडक्ट ट्यूबुलर स्ट्रक्चर दैट कनेक्ट्स द ओवरी एक ही ट्यूबुलर स्ट्रक्चर है जो कि ओवरी को कनेक्ट करता है एंड द क्लेका ओवरी और क्लेका जो कनेक्ट करता है दैट इज द ओविडक्ट एंड इट ओपन सेपरेटली इनटू द क्लेका और ये सेपरेटली किस में ओपन करता है क्लेका में ओपन करता है नेक्स्ट इज मैच्योर फीमेल कैन ले अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड टू थ्री थाउजेंड एट सेट इट है अगर मैच्योर फीमेल की हम बात करें तो दैट मैच्योर फीमेल कैन ले नियर अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड टू थ्री थाउजेंड एग्स एट अ टाइम फर्टिलाइजेशन इज एक्सटर्नल एंड अकर्ज इन वाटर फर्टिलाइजेशन इन केस फ्रॉक्स के केस में जो फर्टिलाइजेशन है वो एक्सटर्नल होता है एंड दैट डायरेक्टली अकर्स इन द वॉटर फ्रॉग लाइफ साइकिल शोज कम्प्लीट मेटामोसिस जो फ्रॉग्स की लाइफ साइकिल होती है वो शो करती है कम्प्लीट मेटामोसिस को वेयर द डेवलपमेंट इंक्लूड्स अ लार्वल स्टेज जहां पर जो डेवलपमेंट है दैट इंक्लूड्स द लार्वल स्टेज टैडबोल द लार्वल स्टेज ऑफ द फ्रॉग टैडबोल इज द लार्वल स्टेज ऑफ द फ्रॉग इट डेवेल्स इन टू एन एडल्ट आफ्टर मेटामोसिस और ये एडल्ट में कब डेवेल्प होता है आफ्टर द प्रोसेस ऑफ द मेटामोसिस so this is the male reproductive system and in case of the male reproductive system these are the fat bodies and just below the fat bodies these are the kidneys and kidneys directly attached with the cloaca with the help of you know genital duct and this is the cloaca after the cloaca this is the opening of the cloaca that is known as the cloacal aperture and this is the urinary bladder and just above the urinary bladder this is the rectum and these this rectum is directly attached with the adrenal gland and just above the adrenal gland these are pair of the testes and this is the vasa afferentia so this is the male reproductive system of the frog next is the female reproductive system of the frog and in case of the female reproductive system of frog these are a pair of oviduct and oviduct is directly attached with the ovary and in the ovary there are a number of ova that are present in case of the ovary and this is ureter and this ureter that he opens into the cloaca and this is the opening of the cloaca aperture and this is the urinary bladder and this is all about the female reproductive system of the frog so this is all about this chapter that is uh, uh, structural organization in animals and this chapter is completed in five parts that is part number 1 part number 2 part number 3 part number 4 and part number 5 and our next uh, lecture is to be continued in our next lecture